Hi, this is Josh. I'm a pharmacist with PharmacistTips.com. We're going to talk a little bit about like the medication Lisinopril in relation to potassium. Uh, what you should understand if you're using the medication Lisinopril, whether you should eat potassium, take potassium supplements, w what it affects potassium. First off, we'll just cover what is Lisinopril. Lisinopril is in a group of medications known as ACE inhibitors. ACE inhibitors, they're used to treat high blood pressure. Um, they use it to treat heart failure. Uh, when somebody has heart failure, they'll use it to control blood pressure and help the heart work better. It's used after a heart attack, uh, sometimes for six weeks, sometimes longer, depending on your blood pressure, things like that. Um, it, what it how it works, its major effect is that it, caused, uh, it causes dilation of the blood vessels. So if you think of it like the water system in your house, if you put in bigger pipes, your uh, water pressure at the faucet is going to go down simply because there's, there's, um, the, the pipes are bigger, so there's less pressure in the pipes. And that's, that's what this does in your body. It relaxes the blood vessels. Um, so the pressure also decreases. Now, it also has an effect on the kidney, and that's uh, where we can run into some issues with potassium. It can cause the kidneys to retain some electrolytes like potassium. Um, so that's, that's why it needs to be monitored. That's why there is this potential for these high potassium levels, or in medical speak, hyperkalemia, high potassium hyperkalemia. So what is hyperkalemia? Of course, we just touched on that high potassium levels. Why is that an issue? It can cause uh, a regular heartbeat. You know, we want the heart to be happy. The heart does not like high levels of potassium. So that's what we're concerned about. Um, if the heart gets too unhappy, then we have some really severe issues. So it can be a pretty severe problem if the potassium levels get too high. You may not have any symptoms. So when you're on medicines like lisinopril, like ACE inhibitors, um, and other some other blood pressure medications, your doctor will take regular labs. Um, oftentimes they'll see you back within a few weeks when you first start it, and then periodically after that, just to ensure those potassium levels are in the safe range. So what about lisinopril with bananas and other potassium rich foods? Most people, regular amounts, you know, banana, one banana per day, um, okay for most. Now, if you're on an all fruit diet and you're gonna eat 20 bananas a day, well, you need to run that by the doctor first. You know, that, could, that could just be way too much potassium. Um, you, you want to avoid those excess amounts and you want to avoid salt substitutes. Like there's one called no salt, um, no salt. It is a potassium salt. So you want to, um, avoid those, or if you do take them, you want to ask your doctor first to make sure that they're all right. Other high potassium foods, bananas, spinach, broccoli, mushrooms, oranges, orange juice, potatoes, sweet potatoes, peas. And like I said, for most people, moderate amounts, regular amounts of of these foods are fine. You just want to avoid in, any of them in excess. And if your potassium levels are high, your doctor may be even have you cut back on these. It's That's something you just want to maintain that dialogue with your healthcare provider. You want to make sure they're taking the labs, know where your potassium levels are at, and see if if that's an issue. So what about supplements? Can you take potassium supplements with lisinopril? Maybe. Um, you need to, back to asking your doctor first so they know where your levels are at. We do sometimes see low potassium levels with lisinopril, so people will need uh, to supplement, especially if you're taking a diuretic or a water pill with the, uh, with the lisinopril. You know, things like furosemide, can really deplete the body of potassium. So despite the effect of lisinopril, you may need to supplement that potassium. But it needs to be, term be determined by labs. This is not something you want to wing by taking a few potassium pills here and there. It needs to be monitored closely. Again, we want your heart to be happy. We don't want those high levels. We don't want those low levels. So yes, yeah, sometimes supplements are needed with li lisinopril, but it, your doctor needs to monitor and determine the correct dose for you. So we touched a little bit on the symptoms of high potassium, but some other ones include tiredness or weakness, uh, nausea, vomiting. 
uh, numbness or tingling sensation in the hands or feet, difficulty breathing, chest pain, uh, palpitations, irregular heartbeat. Now, if you're having some severe side effects, you know, that's time to head to the ER, or seek a medical, immediate medical attention, uh, just because we don't want this thing to escalate any further. Um, ideally, if you're eating a regular diet and your doctor is monitoring your levels on a regular basis, you would never get to this point. But just be mindful if any of these things occur, um, seek medical attention right away. I do appreciate you watching. And as we spoke, make sure you see your doctor if you're having, or you know, seek immediate medical attention if you're having severe problems. Talk to your healthcare provider if you have any questions, potential um, if you think you're having some side effects. And I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel if you like this video. Thanks for watching.